Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own video with Facebook's help. They call it the Facebook slideshow. Because Facebook is favoring video, you want to make sure that you're creating more videos, like 80% of your content that you create should be videos opposed to just pictures or links. So here's how you do it. We're going to go into the Creator Studio. I'm open on my Facebook business page. I'm going to click on the publishing tools on the dashboard. From here, we're going to look to the left-hand side for what's called the Creator Studio. Now, Facebook is going to make you use the Creator Studio by force in the next few months, so it's best that you start to learn how to use it right now. Click on Creator Studio. Now in the Creator Studio, you have a choice of doing, the bar is blue across the top, that means we're in the Facebook mode. But if we clicked on the little Instagram icon, it switches over to a purple color and now we're in the Instagram mode. But we're going back to Facebook because I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow video that in fact you can then share to Instagram later if you wanted to. So there it is on Facebook. I'm I'm also going to show you how to schedule this post at the same time. We're going to go to the left and we're going to create a post and click on create a post. Now on the right hand side you're going to be given a menu. In the menu what you want to click is multimedia over here on the right hand side. In the multimedia choice you have four different ways that you can create completely different types of content. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow. So we're going to click on create a slideshow. Now you need to upload three to ten photos for the slideshow. And I've got three photos waiting on my desktop for me to load. So I'm just going to click plus and then it's going to ask me where are these photos. Now I can even click the photos that are right here so I could go simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I could go add those photos or I could pull them from my desktop computer. Now you could leave them in their original aspect ratio or you could click this little arrow here and you could switch it to I like square because square is perfect both for Facebook and for Instagram. Now if you want the duration of the photos to be anywhere from one to five seconds, you decide what that's going to be. For me, I'm going to say three seconds. Now in the photo layout across the bottom, you can actually drag those photos to how you would like to see them set up and flow through your video. We can also change the transition so it could be no transition or we could fade so it really flows from picture to picture or photo to photo. Now the photos are beautiful. They're very clear. I want to make sure I'm using good photos. I could even click on and watch the video. There, it really looks lovely. And because Facebook is favoring video, it's going to give us a check mark in the algorithms to help get in more news feeds. So your reach will increase just by using video. Now, down here in the bottom side, we're going to click create the slideshow. And now we need to say something about this video. So you're going to write out your text. And don't forget when you have a period to drop it down so you can write something else and it stands out in the news feeds. There we go. And you would have your call to action. So you would put your phone number in there, right? Or you could have a click to um, the website. So you could add a website URL right here. You could also write the post in another language and I could select, for example, Spanish. Now that feature needs to be turned on in your settings tab on your general page on um, your business page. So you see, I click it and it should load. I'm just going to remove it right now. Um, and then we're going to go down here and instead of just 
putting the video out automatically, I'm actually going to show you how to schedule it. There's a little half diamond here in the bottom right hand side. We click on it, it gives us a drop down menu and we can click schedule this post. And then over here it asks us when do we want to schedule it. And I'm just going to put it in the future because I need to delete that actually. Now it is in here that we can go ahead and click on the Instagram logo, go cross over here to create a post and an Instagram feed post and then on the right hand side you would just pick your business page. Now had I copied all the text that I wrote I would just paste it in right here and I was showing in in another video how I go into my notes on my desktop because I'm using a Mac I go into my applications go down to notes and in my notes I have things all written out and all the hashtags it is here I would just copy it and drop it right in so now I've got all the hashtags in there um, you notice I've spaced between each sentence with a little dot or a period in order for it to be easier to uh, be read by people when they're on their Instagram on the smartphone. Location, uh, you put your location in and click it. Now look at what happens when I put add content and I put from the Facebook page. Automatically it pulls that video that we just created and scheduled and now I can put that video out onto Instagram or I can once again schedule it just like I scheduled the post for Facebook. So these are a couple of really cool excellent ways that you can create content on your Facebook business page so in fact your business page is going to stand out and have a lot of variety as well using video you are going to be indexed through the algorithms much faster and pushed into more news feeds so video is the new golden nugget for content to create on your business page and because you're not creating it now facebook said we will help you create it in the creators studio my name is heather and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the recent updates from facebook instagram and youtube and don't hesitate to reach out and ask me for help if you need it. My name is Heather and let's just keep it simple.